Hello and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband. I'm your host, Arnold. <laughs> anyway, let's talk to Omar Haron. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside Calradia. That'll get him out of my hair. The money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. What do you have? What do you need? Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. Captain of the Watch, no less. Some months ago, the captain... Seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realise that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. And of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to villainy. To recoup his fortune, I suppose, I'd do the same. The heavens forbid I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. Now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers in his payroll to inform him on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these bastards wholesale. He brings them into the town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Calradia, sometimes gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there's still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of Doge Graveth. Lord of the city, but that would mean an inquiry, my word against the captains, and witnesses can be bought and evidence destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again. All I'll get for my trouble is a knife in my ribs. In times of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer, so I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits. And we'll storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before Doge Graveth. Hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need is someone to lead my little army into battle. And I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? How do I know that you're telling me the truth? Oh well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who are willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in old Jalkala. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good. But I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good. And there's another hundred dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you, if you'll do me this last little favour. So what do you say? All right, I'll lead your men. Splendid! It's been a long time since I staked so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly, I find it exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. Good. Now strike hard, strike fast, and the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. May the heavens be with you. Okay, leave the tavern. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully, my computer doesn't crash like I tried to do this the last time. Omar? It's time, lads. Open at them. Okay, let's do this. 
Okay, that one's dead. Oh my! No! <laughs> I don't know, it's fun. <clears throat> there we go. Is that the last of them? Hmm. The remaining few bandits scatter off to the town's narrow alleys, only to be hunted down by no one by one by the angry townsfolk, making sure that your victory is complete and all the wounded have been taken care of. You and the merchant head to his house to review the day's events. <clears throat> ha! Well done! I saw at least three of the enemy go down before you. Keep fighting like that, and you'll make quite a name for yourself. Unfortunately, about seven of my lads got themselves wounded. I should look in on them. Let every villain learn to fear the name Arnold the Singer. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in the back room with a knife at his throat. I'll need to go drag him before Doge Graveth and explain what this breach of the peace is all about. You don't need to be part of that, though I'll tell you what. If all goes well, I'll let you in the ta I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly and let you know how it all came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gate, I'll assume you know enough to stay away from town for a while and forget the whole episode ever happened. So hopefully we'll meet again. Okay, not bad. Let's go to the tavern. Mm -hmm. Talk to our friend over here. Ah, Arnold the singer. Things didn't go quite so well as I had hoped. George Graveth couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of the peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain. A guard who let bandits in will let the enemy ar let in an enemy army, if the price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here as a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things himself. That hardly seems fair. <laughs> fair? This is Calradia, my boy. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us do as they must. He didn't string me up, and instead gave me time to sell my properties. He even put in a word with the other merchants that they best pay me a fair price too. That's gracious enough, as kings go. But he's a weak king, as they all are here. And weak kings must always look to their authority first, and just a second. I suppose I'd do the same in his shoes. Anyway, I wouldn't go rubbing your part in this affair in Doge Graveth's face, but he's taken note of you and decided that you're not worth hanging. And that's something to which I'll raise a glass any day of the week. He might even have work for you further down the road or you can sell your spear to one of his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learned a bit about what it will take to stay alive in this troubled land. And I suspect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. Okay, not bad. For a start. What does the explorer have to say? Oh, just, you know, where I can find people. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of money, so no use wasting it on 
mercenaries. Let's see who's in the castle. Hmm. Doge Graveth. Let's see if he has a job for me. Do I know you? I am Arnold. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. I am Arnold the Singer. I am Doge Graveth, ruler of the Rodok Republic and lord of Jalkala. You may be of common birth, but know that I am always looking for good men to fight for me. They can prove themselves to be worthy of my trust. What is it? Do you have any tasks for me? I have something you could help me with. An issue with a lawless villain known as Abel Ailes the Tor. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run. I can't get at him. I can't let him get away with avoiding justice. So I've put a bounty of 300, on, 300 dinars on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon that the assassin has taken refuge with his kinsman in Reverend. You might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. Then I will hunt him down and execute the law. That's excellent, Arnold the Singer. I will be grateful to you, and so will the family of the man he murdered. And of course, the bounty on his head will be yours, if you can get him. Well, good hunting to you. Okay, the king. Hmm, I look like a Kurgit. Oh well. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Reverin. Where is that? Wait. Where on the map is it? Oh man, that's quite a ways off. Oh well, let's go do that. Hmm. Pardon me. Do I know you? I am Arnold the Singer. I am Count Trimbau, son of Count Garmo and Lord of Ivdalee's Castle. Speak quickly. If anything to say, for I have no time for bandying words with common soldiers of fortune. Do you have any tasks for me? Mm, sure. Luca's kind of on the way. Why not? Oh, ten tournament at Cura. To Pasimo Matthias. They have weird names in this mod. No one wants to join me. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, I can't seem to get in because of the feast. I guess I'll have to wait till morning or something. Hmm. Your own Nadia. <laughs> Please, sir, protect me. They're after me. Who is after you? My father, my brother, the village elder, everyone. They are searching for me. I ran away. It was. Awful, sir. 
The elder, he is mad. I say to you, for the past three years he has taken a new woman every night, only to hang her in the morning. Both my elder sisters have died by his hand already, and every woman in the land is terrified. One evening my father uttered the words I had feared for months. Tonight, my dear Nadia, it will be your turn. How could he say that? How could he lead me to certain death? I screamed and kicked so that both my father and brother had to drag me out of the house. I was wild and in the struggle I knocked over an oil lamp and the leaking oil lit a fire in an instant. I used the panic of the moment to free myself and fled into the darkness of the night. My feet didn't stop until I reached this tavern, so please, dear sir, Protect me from everyone who wants to kill me, just because I'm a woman. That's terrible. If there is anything I could do to help. Really? Do you really want to help me? Thank the heavens that I met you, and blessed be the soul, be your soul for your kindness. If I can stay with you, no one would dare harm me. I'll do my best to be of help around you. Pack your stuff, girl. It's time for you to leave these lands. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Okay, looks like we have someone new to our company. Another explorer. A few mercenaries. Hmm. Mm, nothing I really want there. Let's take a look at this woman, see what she has. Hmm. Mm, let's take a look at this skills. Okay, she has no real skills. Hmm. Uh, well, she does have some power strike, iron flesh, and combat skills generally. Equipment. 